Welcome to the adding a node to a single node ZTC Edge system training module. In this module you'll learn how to change a single node system to a dual node system, thus making the ZTC Edge environment redundant. Before adding a second node, there are some prerequisites that need to be completed before proceeding. You will need to first add a second ZTC Edge node that matches the model of the first node and is installed with Stratus Redundant Linux Release 3.0.0.0 or higher. And you will also need a static IP address for the second node if you had configured the first node with a static IP address. To add a second node using the availability option. Confirm that the first node is running and healthy with a flashing sys LED. On a PC or laptop with network connectivity to the first node, connect to the ZTC Edge console and confirm that the dashboard page displays green check marks with no outstanding issues. Resolve any issues before adding the second node. Note. You may want to consider delaying the following steps until a planned maintenance period, because VM performance slows during this process. Connect the P1 port of the second node to your existing LAN, and connect the blue network cable, identified as the A2 port, and yellow network cables, identified as the A1 port, from the first node to the second node. Connect the power cable to the second node and verify that the node powers on. To add a second node, in the ZTC Edge console, under Preferences, click on the Availability option. The availability page displays redundant configuration of your system, and optionally allows you to deploy a second node to improve availability. The redundant configuration line will display either enabled or disabled. Enabled means there are two nodes that are online, and the system is redundant. If one of the nodes fails or is taken offline, the virtual machines will automatically fail over to the healthy node. Disabled means only one node is configured, and the system is not redundant. If the node fails or is taken offline, the VMs will be unavailable. To make the system redundant and improve availability, you'll need to add a second node. The availability page also displays information about each node in your system. If only one node is present, you can click the plus sign to add a second node for redundancy. In this example we'll click the plus sign to add a second node. The add node wizard will appear, and you'll follow the steps to pair the nodes and make the system redundant. On the preparation tab, Click continue to search for the second node that you connected. Once the second node has been found, the discovery tab will open and displays information about the newly discovered second node. In this example, we'll click continue. The node discovery process begins. You may lose connectivity to the management console. If the system does not respond within 5 minutes, hit the F5 key to refresh the browser. Here, on the Discovery tab, we see the second node was discovered and there are no outstanding issues. If node 1 is the node you want to pair with the first node, node 0, to make a redundant configuration, click the Continue button. If not, click the Cancel button. Warning! Once the pairing process is started, you cannot cancel it. Please do not remove power or change network connectivity with the pairing process is in progress, or damage to your ZTC nodes may occur. The process takes approximately 10 minutes. In this example, we'll click on Continue. Note, before pairing the nodes, you must accept the new support terms described on the confirming pairing and support levels pop up. Check the checkbox next to I understand that if the two nodes have different support and payment terms, they will be reconciled when the first term expires message and click on Accept. If you do not accept the terms, click Cancel. On the Pairing tab, wait for the system to complete the pairing process. Pairing may take up to 10 minutes or more to complete. Please note that the process has been expedited in this video. Upon a successful pairing, the sys LED on the second node flashes to indicate healthy status, and the add node wizard confirms successful pairing with green check marks on each tab. On the finish page, confirm that the nodes were successfully paired in a redundant configuration. Click close to close the wizard and display the availability page, which now indicates that the redundant configuration is enabled and displays the redundant configuration. Any existing VMs may synchronize for hours after which you must restart the VMs to enable redundancy and clear warnings. When the system is synchronized and the VMs are running, 
the dashboard displays green check marks with no outstanding issues. Based on the current licensing of your system, you may be required to reload the license due to the newly detected node. Under Preferences in the dashboard, click on Product License, and if connected to the internet, click on the Check License Now button to refresh your license. If not connected to the internet, click on the Download URL file and follow the offline license registration process detailed in the ZTC Edge User's Guide. And, if you had configured the first node with a static IP address, make sure to add a static IP address to the added node. To do so, from the dashboard, click on Preferences, IP Configuration, and add Node 1's IP address and gateway. This completes the adding a node to a single node ZTC Edge system training module. Thank you for viewing this module.